Hello everyone, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to make the controllers in an express framework using which is using the node.js as you know. So in this, this is my folder, I am using the previous one and I am going to create a new folder named controllers. Okay. So in this I am going to make my first controller and I will name this controller in document. So let's just do it using the Komodo. Okay, this is I will make a new file here named main main dot js. Okay, so this will be my first controller here now how to initiate the controller that's the first step here so to initiate this i'll have to export it so to export it i use module dot exports dot controller is equal to function app basically these controllers are the dynamic routers so this is what I am going to make here so to first let's make app dot get for a path as I'm using the main here, so let's use main here. Main dot let's make it a file. Okay, so I'm using the get here. So the second step would be function request variable response variable and I'll make it here let's make this JSON okay so my second second step would be This is the file page. Okay, so my second step would be to call this controller here. So to call this, I'm going to first add fs module so i'm going to install this and install fs this may take some time let's make a uh, quick okay it's done so i'll do here for fs is equal to re sorry, require fs here so my next step is to load let's make another controller here as well new file make it a user controller user dot js okay and I'll do the same thing here let's make it user make 
it's the profile this is user page my page let's make it here my page so my next step is to load this in the app so to do so i have used the fs module here and in fs module i'll use a simple coding to load all these actually the controller all the files in the controller here so to do so i'll use fs dot directory then sync it in the directory I have to do this controllers this one controllers and for each of the file this file here. for each of its file if I am mean going to check the extension JS here so if the file name dot its substring last three digits is dot js remember i only need to include the dot js files here so i'll use dot js here and then i'll define the route that file name I'll include here Try this code out. I'll start it now. this one this was the previous code here so my next step would be okay no problem in that so we have created two links here the okay, first one is get main profile if I write this one this is a profile page if I go to user and add this one this is the user okay this is the user page so what I'm trying to do here is 
to make the different modules here the main like if you want about a stage just make it about hyphen us and contact page contact hyphen us and same way in the user just make two more pages user dash bold user edit just drag it here this is the dashboard page this is edit page and this is if you want to know how to render a view you just have to add it here and uh, you can check out my previous video in the previous video i have shown how to make this index here and let's make it here the contact page okay save it let's restart it user we have made dashboard this is the dashboard page edit this is the edit page now just go to the contact hyphen us this is the contact page and about hyphen us so as you can see we have separated the main page functionality here the user module functionality here and we have added it dynamically so you just need to add a new if you want a new module just add a new file here use the same coding same coding structure and it will be automatically uploaded uh, called so let me know if you have some query have a nice day thank you